Well, you guys know the drill. Another Thursday, another event week in GT Online. And as we see here, four times money still happening. But before we actually get into this newswire, good old FunMW2 here decided to tweet this earlier today, but then he deleted it. I don't know exactly what sort of news he could possibly have. Uh, people were sort of speculating this was some GTA 6 stuff, but that's not the case. I do wonder though if this is about the next GT Online DLC. I believe June 14th is when like the exclusive period for the PS5 is going to end. So if we do get a summer DLC and it doesn't seem like it's gonna be big from what we've just seen over the past couple of days. Uh, but yeah, if we do get something for summer, I guess maybe we, we get some news soon. Uh, I don't know exactly why he tweeted this, but it, it was an interesting thing I thought I'd bring up. Now hopping back to the newswire because uh, we got some interesting stuff this week. It's nothing crazy. The four times money, it's cool they're doing it. It's not unlike anything major. You're not gonna be getting heist four times money. I don't think anytime soon, but it is cool that they're, they're doing it still. And maybe they do branch out this four times money to other things, like some of the other businesses that don't actually pay out that much uh but it's basically like races that they're doing this four times money on so four times money on land races and special vehicle races now i will say these are actually kind of fun especially if you play with some buddies these are definitely kind of fun i don't believe this works on custom races though unfortunately so you do have to play the the rockstar created ones but if you do win any of these races, you get four times money, which is probably a decent amount actually for, uh, you know, for the race itself. They are also doing it, as you saw up here, four times money on impromptu races. These, if anyone doesn't know, are the races you can do in free roam. Uh, these are the ones you have to go to the interaction menu and then you invite people basically and you sort of set it up yourself. It's a cool thing, but I don't ever see this get used, which is unfortunate. But uh, I guess if you want to use it this week, it's four times money. I don't know the payouts on those, what it's going to be, you know, compared to like a normal race. But that's the other thing with four times money. What they, this is kind of a joke, but it's kind of funny that they're they're doing it. The bet limits for races have been increased to 10,000. So I think it was only a thousand prior. And I guess it's now 10,000 which is still a joke. I mean, who's betting that? And like, you're not even getting anything if you end up winning. It's not that much money, so, uh, okay. Of course, every week you got your new stuff on the uh, the new consoles, new time trial, new test ride. We still don't know what the next GTA Plus vehicle is gonna be. That maybe also could be what Fun was talking about in his tweet with the, uh, the news soon. We have double money on the uh, open wheel races so if you like those instead unfortunately you only get double money on them we got bonuses on collectibles so keep your eyes peeled for collectibles this week completing a set of playing cards movie props finding all available media stacks or obtaining el rubio's perico pistol will yield a bonus of 200k so free money for for doing any of these collectibles also, meanwhile, retrieving a hidden cash or treasure chest on the separate on three separate days this week will net you an additional 100k. So you get 300k for free by just sort of doing some very simple stuff. Now, I do wonder if you've already completed all this, how it works. I think you can get El Rubio's pistol multiple times if you go through the the heist, uh, but I could be wrong on that. I know I got it once and then never really tried it again, unfortunately. But I do think I remember reading or hearing that you could do that. Uh, correct me in the comments if I am wrong. But yeah, I guess if you didn't collect any of this stuff, you might want to go do it this week just to get the free money. And then the hidden caches, that's, I think you need the Toreador. Uh, when you go into the ocean, it has like a, a, a radar on the mini map and it sort of guides you to the hidden caches. The treasure chests, I think you can just find uh, around. The prize ride challenge. We have the uh, the Cockette Classic, and to get that for free, you have to place in the top three, three days in a row. So that's actually super easy. Top three, three days in a row, and you get a, a pretty cool looking car. I mean, this is a car you get and just customize it and stash it in your garage. Three test ride vehicles. <laughs> Got a beaten up little vehicle there, okay. Uh, the JB700 is on the podium. 
So you can get that for free if you wanted to, I guess. And then the discounts this week. I don't think, unfortunately, we have anything like crazy, but 30% off auto body shops if you wanted to move around. You can probably skip. I mean, these are cool, but they are a lot of money. And 30% off is not like the biggest discount. The Itali GTO, it's a fun little vehicle. Very crazy to drive. Uh, the Emirates, I mean, it looks like a lot of these vehicles are, are very good looking vehicles, I will say. It's just unfortunate that the discount is only 30%. Like the Imperator Deuce, that's a great vehicle. Good customization, too. The Gauntlet Classic, another classic. Just looks great. This one, you could probably skip. And then we have the Casco, 40% off. Okay, I guess they put the uh, the worst cars, maybe, 40 more. I mean, some of these are okay. The Devesta Ace is cool. That one's really fast, 40% off. The Ramp Buggy, oh, it's a fun vehicle. Oh, and you also got the Phantom Wedge. A lot of discounts this week. Oh, my God. The Blazer Aqua, that one's, yeah, you probably skipped that one. And then 50% off the Nightshade. And then 50% off the premium race buy-in. Okay. Um, And then that's actually it. Now, of course, you get your 100K for being a Prime member. But uh, that's the event week. So nothing crazy. Really nothing actually free mode based either. Apart from the, the top up here, the impromptu races. Because I know Rockstar did mention this month was like free mode month. Uh, but yeah, I guess if you like racing, this is a good week for you. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. If we find out any more on what that whole little tease was about the news being soon, I'll let you guys know. So hit that subscribe button if you are new around here. Thank you guys for watching, though. Please drop it a like if you did enjoy. Subscribe for more GTA content. And as always, I'll see you all in the next one.